and this is Raitam Shade. Welcome to my YouTube channel CSCP Preparation. And today our lecture number 19, and we are discussing some of the most important and critical softwares of the supply chain that is called WMS Warehouse Management System. Um, my first request is to subscribe my channel so I get motivated that somebody is watching me. Uh, WMS is a computer application system designed to manage and optimize workflow and storage of the goods within a warehouse. These systems often interface with automated data capture and enterprise resource planning. So first concept you need to understand is that, you know, ERP, you know, is this is the basic of the company, enterprise resource planning. So every software will be connected with that and WMS will be also connected with that. Like you can see the customer relationship management and next is you can see that the warehouse management system the warehouse management system at your right snap you can see that it is connected with the erp system so both are integrated so you make an integration with the your erp system and uh it is getting the input your wms is getting the input from the erp and it is also exchanging the information with the ERP for example if you're scanning the barcodes uh, you know this information like you're receiving like 500 units in your warehouse and you have the barcode scanner you keep on scanning the 500 units against a certain PO purchase order number and in this information then moves into the ERP that you have received this stock so hope you understand the concept a little I don't think so so complex so if you have questions you can send me a whatsapp on my whatsapp message regarding my lecture so let's go for the next concept so let's discuss about the you know some key activities uh, that happened in the warehouse and how WMS is going to help us to improve you know all the operational activities in the warehouse so how how it work actually look you know there are like three key areas whenever you are selecting a wms you need to look the three key areas like picking replenishment and put away so we discuss all that how wms is going to help us and all in this thing like for example you received this talk so wms have all the information about the warehouse and you know already it is predefined through algorithms are to the through the simulations it it already decides that where you need to uh, place the stock and when you need you know when your stock is going to finish and you need to refill it replenish it and how you have to pick the stock from which location you have to pick the stock for certain order so it is telling you a lot of things it is making everything automated so you you have the concept like you have like twenty thousand square feet warehouse and you need to store like refrigerator washing machine ac and you know like lcd you need to store so it predefines through the, its simulations and its computer algorithms that where you need to store the things and how optimize you can use, use how you can optimize your space utilization so for the storage purpose it has you know tell you and when you need stock you know for example like you make a stand of 500 units of ac air conditioners or lcd and it defines whenever the stock uh, uh, became lower from that certain quantity it tells you to replenish the stock so all things are automated here the put away is automated here the it tells you the picking is automated it will tell from where you have to pick the stock so uh, hope you understand the concept let's go for further discussion so uh, look at like the functions of WMS is receiving as we already discussed so all information already is in the in in the wms through uh, erp system for example you are receiving 500 units of refrigerator from uh, you know from another warehouse or from the production side 
you are going to receive it so the the person already knows you know through ERP like this 500 units are on the way and you you need to receive that okay you have the advanced notification in your WMS that there are 500 units of refrigerator are going to come in your warehouse so storage location up management on optimizations so it creates the algorithms by size from uh, how fast the product is moving so it, it, it creates the algorithms to optimize all the operations so cross docking is another important thing you know cross docking is like we're gonna discuss in the next lectures because I will make a special lecture on the cross docking it's, it's basically uh, you need, don't need to uh, uh, you know don't need to store the stock like it came in come in the big vehicles and you just move it in to the small vehicles and move maybe to the dealers maybe stock is coming we're gonna discuss it inventory control you know you can uh, control it through the scanning is very you can control it through the scanning and you can make control your inventory yeah, everything is automated you know you you allocate the person you, you change, keep on changing the the you know uh, the authorities in the WMS like for example a person would do the other then you know you randomly select the C person so all things and number five is the quality control track the item batch lot notification for example like there's 50,000 units moved and the certain units batch is not is good in quality so you, you can track down and you ship and you the person can complain you and you you can exactly know that which badge it is through the WMS and barcode systems so let's go for the other things like uh, I'm gonna go fast okay look at this snap at your right side it's it's all the functions of WMS like incoming transport inspection put to be storage order picking inspection so an outboard transportation so all these functions are controlled through the WMS so uh, already told you the WMS take the output from ERP and it optimize your space utilizations so initially uh, here the point to understand is that initially that the WMS was you know designed for only uh, for warehousing now it's go its scope has increased now it go for like you can do the cross docking you can do the postponement postponement is in this technique we're going to discuss it later because you know it's a separate topic so it it is used for the transportation labor order management uh, so again the key areas for selecting any WMS is like picking direct replenishment and the portway so we go for the okay let's look at the snap uh, there's a zone concept in the WMS you know now the warehouses are actually operated and directed by WMS so the employee has only to need to follow the instructions of the WMS mainly is this like 70 80 percent is like that so it has through its algorithms has already defined definable put away, put away and storage methods such as zone logic like for example you have the storage zones uh, it creates the nearest locations where you have to place the products at the nearest location for example if you have some hot items and you're gonna store that close to your uh, shipment area so pick to clear like it automatically tells you that pick the smallest quantities first it will create more space like it is called pick to clear so pick to clear is the method used in the warehouse management system that directs pickings to the location which is the smallest quantities on hand so it's very fast um, it create more space so all is through the the algorithms mathematical calculations uh, analysis and giving the feedback all is the part of you know zone logic is is very clear like you have the different zone this zone is for the refrigerators this zone is for the lc this zone is for uh sp that specific model at you know 
this zone is for the hot products which are moving fast so it is all the things actually the BMS takes from us and it makes the algorithms and simulations that where you need to store it where you need to uh, you know uh, uh, where you need to place the stock so hope you understand it's, 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 it's very um, not that complex okay let's go for the web based WMS no, no, this is some vendors offer WMS with web based interface portals this is beneficial because you know if you have a web based portal which is connected with your ERP system so it is other supply chain partners can you know see the information for example you have the transporter he can see the shipment information you have through uh, you know web based WMS because otherwise they need to install a software which may be complex to use so you have the portals so such portals can be purchased softwares or SAS you know you can have your own the WMS web based WMS or you go through the SAS software service which is a cloud based software technique where all all the facilities uh, servers and all the software and hardware is managed by uh, through the cloud computing so the more popular is like WMS web based WMS because you know it's it's easy to use and it's friendly for even the warehouse team and you know outside the warehouse for example in within your supply chain partners so let's go for the benefits of WMS lot of benefits implementing a quality WMS can significantly improve the productivity and reduce the frequency of error or fraud in comparison to the traditional methods office competitive advantages such as faster cycle times through cross docking or automated checking re replacing manual checking satisfies retail requirements such as by adding automated automatic identification devices improve accuracy by automating put away and pick location verification sp support high transactions processing capacity for e-commerce satisfies complex international handling needs and reduce the safety stock optimize use of space give information for system design selection training change management that can mitigate the risk